Okay, stream, listen up. There's 319 of you here, and I need you to spread the message. This is a public service announcement about a certain feature that has managed to make it into the game. Okay? This is really exciting. This is something we were missing. This is something that we craved at day one. And any guesses what I'm talking about? It's this. They managed to get leaderboards ready for us just about in time. Of course, there's been no official games quite yet, but they're there, and you can see them. Uh, it's all part of this URL. Let's give it the hug of death. There you go. Leaderboards.companyofheroes.com is where you want to be. So these leaderboards are very, very interesting indeed, because you'll see for the very first time ever... It has ELO stated on the ranks. Apparently, when these are going to be populated later with the games that get played, it's going to look beautiful. Also, um, there's going to be it's going to work in mobile format, so you'll be able to take your mobile phone with you and show um, hot people of the opposite gender uh, your company of heroes rank, and you may meet your future spouse that way. So this is genuine. These are the Company Heroes 3 leaderboards. They've yet to be populated, but we do get them at launch. Interestingly, you can go from your server. You can show the um, Asia server. You can see who the best European player is. You know, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, for every, all of the four factions. And this is all thanks to Relic and Crunch Relic. People like Marcus and Devim. DevM at Relic Entertainment and others, I'm sure, have been crunching in time for the launch. And although John did allude to this in a post uh, yesterday in the FAQ section, I don't think people really understood what it meant by, you know, it being live. And, and it is going to indeed actually, actually, actually uh, have leaderboards. So let me just read a little bit about how they're going to work for you. So they're going to work like the Company of Heroes 1 leaderboards in presentation. So I don't know if you knew this, but the Co-1 um, Co leaderboards basically had like one level 20 player. Let me just show you, actually. I can probably show you um, Co-stats. Here we go. So if you go to here, you can see that there's leaderboards for Company of Heroes 1. So in Company Heroes 1, there was one level 20 player, um, four level 19s, and then when it was working and the game was live in its glory days, it was the, one of the best leaderboard systems I've ever seen. Like, you knew where you stood with Company Heroes 1, you knew how good a rank 10 was, or how good a rank 8 was, and you gradually, gradually rose up those ranks, and they really did matter. It felt like it mattered in Company of Heroes 1. Uh, Company Heroes 2, they kind of hodgepodge loads of systems at different points in time, and the ELO never really made that much sense. So, they're starting with a presentation of the Co2 style. But, it works slightly differently, they have made some improvements, so I'll read this out. So, in Co1, you'd basically always start from level 1, and you'd have to earn each rank level while playing ranked games. In Co2, instead, you started with an average ELO, which meant you automatically held a certain level, say level 10, winning or losing your placement games would get you higher or lower on the leaderboard. So by the end of 10 games, you could have a much higher or lower level than 10. In Co3, we made that average starting ELO correspond to a much lower level. So if you lose games, you could go down to level 1, but if you win all of them, you shouldn't say get to level 20. So it really creates this stratified level system where a level 16 has earned that level 16. They're not some smurf account that got a, a £5 game key and spammed 10 games against noobs to get like level 16. No, they're really putting strength in the ELO system. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really cool. It's presented like the Co1 system with like one level... Um, 20 etc and it works a little bit more like the co2 system however they've stratified it better and they've done a good job of it and um, then in time as they've always alluded already alluded to there will be season ranked which will have a more more strict and accurate matchmaking system 
and it will be a ranked season, much like modern MOBAs, modern shooters, etc. So, yeah, this it's really exciting stuff. It really is exciting stuff. And as you can see, the countdown has now hit zero. It's exactly just hit zero. And it's now your time to get out there in the ladder and show them what you've got. Um, we'll be watching, the casters will be watching, other players will be watching, your mates will be watching. You can go out there and start ranking up every bullet, every shell, every retreat, every capture. Now matters because we actually have leaderboards at launch. So, big public service announcement. Thanks so much, Relic, for crunching and getting this out, even when it looked like you may not be able to. It's really, really hype. And uh, thanks so much, all you lovely people, for watching.